Hi there, thought I'd take a video of the farm truck I just got last year from my neighbor. Someone's going to recognize this. Made a deal and uh, he, squeezed, he let me have it for doing a little bit of work for him, but mostly because I sort of liked it and it didn't oh, need it all that much anymore. It's real nice of him. If you're watching, a big thanks. I appreciate it, it's been very handy. 1989 Chevrolet. Three quarter ton 2500 series, 704 four speed automatic overdrive, and a 350 cubic inch Chevy small block 5.7 liter. Did a lot of work in it over the summer, placed a bunch of parts, it runs pretty good now. It's got the nice old interior from 89 to 94, which I like better than the 95 style. 95 99, I got sort of two Obas for my taste. a bunch of work on it. Place the starter solenoid and the battery cable melted on me. Put a patch on the uh, exhaust system between the catalytic converter and the exhaust manifold. Now it's nice and quiet. The muffler's still in decent shape. Here's the engine. And uh, got a good use sets of uh, rotors and pads for the front. Front brakes are working great. Emergency brakes working. I might replace the rear brake line if we get a chance. Replace the idle air control valve, IEC valve, the exhaust gas recirculation valve. I cleaned it, it was stuck. I replaced the coolant sensor and put a new oxygen sensor in. And it's running pretty good. It wasn't running all that well when I drove it home last fall. It had no brakes of the emergency brake. Combine that with a, it had a super fast idle. And on top of that, it has a loose shifter. I put that all together, it makes for a nightmare trying to drive it. Now it's, that's pretty much all fixed up. Got these, I uh, was lucky enough to find a record yard close by. And it let me have a whole bunch of spare parts to get it running nice. Even these wheel covers. Found them lying there. Spruce it up a bit. <laughs> Two of the more serious things I fixed was uh, down here. I got a coolant leak on the block. Can't see it very well. Right in the block in between the head gasket and the oil pan, right in the side of the block. It wasn't a freeze plug, it wasn't a drain cock, it was a few inches away from the block heater. Maybe that's related. Anyway, I chipped it all, I chipped away all the rust and ended up with a hole the size of my little finger. And so I put a stud in, smeared it all JB weld, and it seems to be holding now. The other big thing I did was uh, this truck has no gas tank in it. Hello, hello, nobody home. <laughs> Correction, it's got a jerry can in the back. When I got it, it had a mercury fuel tank with a inline sending inline fuel pump. Can't see very well, can you? Inline fuel pump. And it is causing all sorts of hard uh, starting problems. There's no power sluggish and it's surging bad idle. So what I did is I tossed that and I got another plastic jerry can with a sending unit left over from my 99 Buick with Sabre. It was no good for that. It only develops 15 psi, the 12 psi, the Buick needs 40, but it turns out it's perfect for this truck. The truck needs 9 to 13. So there you go. Put that in and it starts and runs so much better, a lot of more power and everything. And I even got this fuel gauge hooked up. So now it reads uh, so now when the tank is half full, the gauge says full, and when it's empty, the gauge reads empty. That was important. I wanted it to read empty when it's empty. Now it does. Got a fuel gauge. Standard long box. Interior's in nice shape. Another thing I did before we I drove it home, my neighbor gave me a hand getting the stupid oil pressure sending unit out there spewing oil all over the place. Turns out it was rusted out, so I knocked it off and he helped me put a brass plug in. Boy, we cheered when I got it to thread in properly. And that's plugged for now. So I don't have a don't have any oil leaks and I don't have a oil pressure gauge at the moment. But I got another sending unit. Maybe I'll stick it up here where the air cleaner is next time. Where it's easier to get it. That's a stupid place to put it right by the exhaust manifold where it rusts to bits. Anyway, it's all running good. Got a battery from the dump too, and it cranks it well. 
couple adapters. Did a bunch of no interior work. It's sort of a bare bone Cheyenne style truck, but it's got a few nice thoughtful options. The original owner sort of took care of it. Had a body job done about 10 years ago, I'd estimate. Some Bondo here and there. Silver stripe. Nice. I like the color scheme. And you got a cloth bench seat, deluxe gauges, AM FM stereo radio with four speakers, and rally wheels with uh, trim rings hubcaps. The, I don't have all the trim rings, but the original rally wheels are there under these fancy wheel covers of mine. So, I even fixed the radio. I had to replace the CDM unit down under the dashboard. That thing always goes bad. Had the typical problem showing one o'clock and the button's not doing anything. Even got a cassette player from the record yard. Now it works great. Replace one of the speakers. Well, this speaker over here was shot, and I mean shot. Replace one of them, and now it works fine. Anyway, enough talk. Let's start her up. Nice. Idles nice and slow now. You couldn't believe how fast it was going when I got home last year. It was crazy. Got a new rear view mirror for it. The other one didn't match properly. This one's nice. Even got that beacon light up there to half work. You see it a little bit spinning. It's a bad there. Flashes occasionally. I have to fix the connector inside it. Okay. Now I'm going to drive in in this fun road of mine and I got a nice steep hill to go up too, so we'll see how it goes.
Oh, no. Think of that four and four high. I'll go off the road. Hee <laughs> hee. Be a bit more bumpy for high, but I'll get up it. I almost got up it. He always gets stuck right at that steep spot near the top. Alrighty. For high. Let's try this again. Here we go. chains on the tires and maybe I can get it all year. We'll see. Another little hill here. Really need to get a bulldozer in here next year. Looks like the snow is here to stay. Early December. It's a beautiful summer this year. Surprised that I got up the hill so easily. Getting dark, eh? Well, hope you enjoyed watching that as much as I did filming it. Thanks for watching and see you later. Be sure to check out my other videos. <laughs> I told you that hill of mine was steep, didn't I? Oh yeah. My neighbor's been helping me uh, smooth out this steep hill of mine, which has always been a pain. Came by with this machine, smoothed it out and put a whole bunch of loads in the back of my pickup. Over here. I'm amazed it gets up there. It's got a ton of power and traction, just amazing. Last load of the day. Pretty heavy, good, good thing it's three quarter ton. <laughs> well, back to work. Nice. Oh yeah, ton of power. I could start from a standing start here. Oil dry with all this in the back. It's amazing. A lot of dirt. <laughs>